friends welcome to my channel today we are going to make some homemade face masks and scrubs this is quarantine time so we have a lot of time to take care of your skin so don't miss this opportunity take good care of your skin and follow a proper skincare routine so the first scrub that we are going to try is the coffee scrub i know coffee is an ingredient that you will find in every kitchen but this is going to be a filter coffee it is not an instant coffee because filter coffee has granules and it can be easily used as scrub so use any filter coffee mix it with a teaspoon of honey you can take it on your palm also just mix coffee and honey like this it just smells divine if you want you can add more honey or more coffee to the scrub what i'm going to do is i'm going to rub this on my palm and i'm going to scrub this on my face you can also use water or rose water and scrub your face keep it for 5 minutes and then give it a quick wash Unlike other face masks and scrub, don't let this coffee scrub dry because coffee can be harsh on your skin because it is a filter coffee. It is a granule coffee, so it can be harsh on your skin. So without letting it dry, just tip it off of your skin when it is very easy to remove the scrub. The next type of scrub that we are going to do is. quite uh, easily available in your kitchen it comprises of only two elements one is tomato which i have cut into half and the other one is sugar so tomato and sugar you you just going to dip the tomato in sugar maybe a slice or half cut tomato is also fine whichever is easy to hold i think this is easy to hold i'm just going to scrub the sugar and tomato i'm going to just press the tomato so the juice oozes out of the tomato and it is going to dissolve the sugar this is a very natural scrub and it is also not harsh on your skin this is very helpful in summers keep it for 5 minutes and wash it off The third type of scrub is also very easily available in your kitchen. It is also made of only two ingredients. The first ingredient is the cinnamon or dalchini as we say it is the most common spice found in Indian homes. I have grinded the cinnamon powder uh, here. Uh, you can grind it in the mixer or uh, a traditional grinding method. I have used a traditional grinding method. To the cinnamon powder I am going to add honey again or uh, you can take it on your palm the cinnamon powder you can take honey mix cinnamon powder and honey add two drops of rose water to this or normal water to this if you don't have rose water make it into a fine paste like this scrub it onto your hands make sure you are you wash your hands and face before scrubbing apply it to your skin it is going to smell of cinnamon I'm going to scrub it You can also let it dry for five to ten minutes. 
Cinnamon is going to help you reduce the acne scars. So if you use it as a mask or use it as a scrub, uh, once in a week, this is going to reduce your acne scars. Okay, so that was for the scrubs. Now we will go on to making the masks. The first mask that we are going to make is from the very uh, common ingredient that is found into our kitchens, that is basin or it is also called as gram flour. To take a spoon of a gram flour, I'm going to add honey to it. Adding honey, squeezing in some lime juice, adding a teaspoon of yogurt, fresh yogurt, and giving it a quick mix. Mix it gently to prepare a fine paste. Once this paste is ready, apply it evenly to your skin. This will help your skin get that even tone look. Once you apply this, let it dry for 10 minutes. Now that this is dry, let's give it a wash. Now the next face mask recipe is also quite easy and easily available in our kitchens. The first ingredient is the cream of the milk. Uh, you can take cream of any milk that is available in your house. Add a bit of turmeric to it. I'm just adding a bit of turmeric. Make it a thick paste like this and apply it evenly onto your skin. Let it dry for 5 to 10 minutes. Now that the face mask is completely dry as you can see, I'm going to use a damp sponge to remove my mask. You can also directly wash under the tap water, but it is always easy and smooth on your skin to use a sponge to remove any kind of mask. It is always nice to use a sponge on your skin to remove any kind of mask. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe.